I have the biggest hairstyle in the world. Hey everybody, it's me, Shmalala! Or you can call me Shmish, Caffeine. Basically, I'm in college right now, I'm done for the day, and I'm gonna go get wasted because it's my friend's birthday, so yeah. But first, I'm gonna do my video for the week, so... I'm sorry, I'm so weird. <gasps> anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about obsessions because I take really bad obsessions over movies, actors, uh, TV shows, songs, and it's so bad that I don't even look like a fangirl. I look like I'm mentally challenged. So um, basically I'm going to talk about my latest obsession which is the movie Road to El Dorado, which some of you probably already knew because of, um, because Shun mentioned it in my best friend tag. But yeah, it's, it's came back and I need to get out of the obsession and I need to talk about it right now. So for those of you who don't know what Road to El Dorado is, it's about two Spaniards who go on a big adventure and find the city of gold. El Dorado and the people there think they're gods so they're living in luxury basically and it's hilarious and I'm ashamed to say that oh my god I can't believe I'm saying this the main one of the main guys Tulio I just oh he's so pretty he's such a pretty guy I'm a typical fan girl oh it's getting bad I read Road to El Dorado fan fictions I look at it all the time on tumblr and some of the posts are like Magulio, which is the pairing between Tulio and Miguel. And I just look at it and be like, that's so cute. I'm gonna re-blog that. I'm such a teenage girl, even though I'm 19. I have a playlist on my phone that is based of all Disney songs. When I'm listening to Disney songs, I like to imagine that it actually came from Rogi El Dorado instead. Like I oh, I just can't stop imagining the character singing uh, let it go. Oh, it's just, it's awful. And speaking of which, I think the villain in Road to El Dorado deserved a villain song. I mean, come on, he would have been amazing. Like, check this out. So prepare for the chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensational news. Stop it! That's disgusting. See, come on, he deserved a song like that. The problems I have with it, yes, is that there's not enough music in it. There's all these songs by Elton John and I think it would have been better if there were songs that the characters sang instead. Instead of Elton John, I just, <laughs> I, don't, I didn't like it. Also, I imagine that there is a TV series of it, but it's kind of like for older people and it's like The Walking Dead. Like, it's about Tulio and Miguel and they have to survive in this jungle and there's all these people here with them kind of really like the walking dead i mean i have a cast selected and everything it's 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 so bad do you know what i mean oh my god and if i'm thinking of my own disney movie i always make the prince or the male character always look like tulio for some reason i'm just like oh god stop no way you notice yeah clearly obsessed with this movie last week i was off for a whole week because it was my midterm break and I watched Road to El Dorado every day of the week. It's... <sighs> I can't deal with this. Oh my god. I should be going getting smashed right now. Here I am talking about Road to El Dorado. And I send pictures to my friends of Road to El Dorado that kind of like means, kind of like this one. The night I saw that, I was choking in my bed laughing like, but people were asleep so I couldn't laugh like so I was like ah, 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 ah. Yeah. And I pressure people to watch it too. I laugh spontaneously when I think of Miguel's humour. Like he just comes out with some of the funniest lines I've ever heard in my life. So I like to repeat them to people. I just it's so bad. I even told people in my class, like this one girl Angela. And I was like, oh, you probably haven't heard of this movie. And she was like, oh, what is it? I was like, Road to El Dorado. She was like, oh, oh my God, I love it. And I had to stop myself from having a fangirl moment. I was like, compose yourself. I got higher. I got higher all of a sudden. The midterm break when I watched it, 
the last day, I literally cried from the start to the end because I was like, I won't get to watch this anymore. But I did. I, I went home the next day and watched it again. So. I'm just too obsessed with that movie. I also ship Tilly and Miguel with other characters like uh, Disney princesses and other Diet Disney movie heroines. And it's so bad. Just like settle down. My Google search history is the strangest place to be right now because it's just full of Rodel Ron. I don't call the bad guy by his name, I call him Ham because the villain is Ham according to TV Trout. I haven't really talked about my obsession that much and it's that bad too. I have to buy things that remind me of the movie or are from the movie. Like I was in Claire's accessories the other day, saw a necklace with a gold coin, I was like that reminds me of a certain movie. I want to get that, but I didn't get it. I was like, contain yourself. Here's song you should know. This is gonna pass, like, fast. Next week, I'm probably gonna be obsessed with, like, The Little Mermaid or something again, or my Immortal Web series, or Game of Thrones. I'm gonna be obsessed with one of them next week because that's how fast my obsessions change. I am literally like the worst person to buy for at Christmas. Hopefully I didn't run too much about the movie or my obsessions and hopefully I didn't rant that much about the movie. I hope he's actually watched the full video. I mean like nobody wants to watch a video about a girl talking about her obsessions. But um I hope you enjoyed the video overall. So if you did, leave a like and a subscribe and a wee comment as well because see when I see the comments I'm like Ooh. I made a blog, like a new one, because Weebly was too complex for me so I just use Blogger now. And I'll link that in the description below, just check that out. Also check out Becca RL. she um, is now doing uh, vlogs and human interest videos basically and she still does a few covers she did one recently and it's really good so i'll link her in the description below as well so